The defense is seeking answers in that city jail corruption trial. In a phone call from jail, Tavon White tells one of the mothers of his children, quote, I'm the big fish they want to catch. White has admitted fathering four children with four correctional officers while in custody. 11 News I team reporter Barry Sims is at the federal courthouse, uh, federal courthouse downtown with more on the prosecution's key witness. Barry? Well, Stan, we'll get to that in just a moment. First, we want to let you know that one juror was let go today because her child had a medical issue. Also today, Tavon White continued answering questions from the defense about deception and his cooperation with the government. Attorneys for the eight alleged co-conspirators focused on Tavon White's credibility. They played a phone conversation recorded November 8th of this year at the Howard County Detention Center. In the call, White tells his grandmother that he was made to take a lie detector test because of questions about whether he was lying in some of the statements he gave federal investigators. And if he didn't cooperate and take a plea deal, he could end up with up to 45 years in jail for convictions on federal and state charges. White had already testified that he was the commander at the Baltimore City Detention Center and was in charge of a smuggling operation run by the Black Gorilla family that brought in cell phones, tobacco, marijuana, and prescription drugs. White said he accepted the plea deal with the feds because my lawyer came to me and asked if I was willing to speak to them, and I said yes. When asked how long it took to decide, White said, it took me maybe a minute. Focusing on having correctional officers smuggle contraband, White called them a means to an end, saying they did their job, but they were not used to maintain his control as commander, and that correctional officials were teaching new corrections officers about him at the academy. On his membership in the BGF, White answered correct when asked if he violated the organization's oath by testifying. He also said he never really cared about the philosophy code or oath of the BGF, saying, at my heart, no. White's attorney, Gary Proctor, would not comment on his client's testimony, but he did tell us Mr. White would like to plead and walk off into the sunset. Now, White's federal plea deal in this racketeering and conspiracy case could get him a 12-year sentence in federal prison. Now, that could run concurrently with a 20-year state deal for an attempted murder charge. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.